Greetings from Las Vegas. Welcome to the EOG Sports Hour. John Kelly with you on a Monday night. Glad to be representing EOG. The three letters stand for Ion Gaming. EOG.com, a website dedicated to the hearts and minds of sports bettors everywhere. A lot of news to cover on tonight's program. You'll hear three voices on tonight's show. You'll hear my voice, the voice of our Monday night regular Mike Corrigan, veteran bookmaker and better who's checking in from his ranch in Temecula, California tonight. Sometimes he's here in Las Vegas and joining us in studio, but Mike calling in from his home in uh, Southern California. And also calling in tonight, our friend Eric Strasser, a.k.a. Palm Tree. He's had a health issue the last couple of weeks, but he's getting over it now. We're glad that Eric is joining us on the eve of the 2014 World Series. We'll talk baseball on tonight's show, much to the chagrin of our loyal listeners, Parlay Now and Texas Wizard. They love football talk, but this will be our last major baseball show of the year. And when you have Mike Corrigan and Eric Strasser on the program, you'd be silly to talk a lot about anything other than uh, a baseball because they know the, the game well. We'll preview the Royals Orioles series and get their opinions on what may take place in the best of seven series that begins tomorrow night at Kauffman Stadium. Mike Corrigan, good evening. Welcome to the program. How'd the weekend treat you? Treated me well. Things went uh, well with the baseball, and uh, what the, of course the both series got cut short. But I was very happy to see the Giants uh, win their series over the Cardinals. Didn't have a lot of interest in the Royals uh, Orioles thing. I was more astounded by the fact that uh, the Royals uh, had won four straight. But looking back over it, I think it caught up with the Orioles. Also, the three regulars being out practically the whole season, first baseman, the third baseman, and the catcher, and uh, they're going to have a heck of a team next year. And uh, looking forward to uh, opening uh, game one tomorrow at Kauffman Stadium, and me and Eric, I'm sure, will have a few things to say about it. A great call by you, Mike, last Monday night on the program. Series tied at one, National League Championship Series. You said go ahead and take the San Francisco Giants, the adjusted series price, minus a dollar fourteen. Giants won the next three games at AT&T. And didn't make you sweat at all, really, in winning games three, four, and five. The series never got back to St. Louis. And what I liked about your prediction, Mike, you were right, I thought, for the right reasons. A lot of what you said uh, came true. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, and uh, actually, there was a little sweat. They were behind in a couple of games, and, uh, you know, at home, they were uh, down 4-1 to one in one game, and uh, they, you know, uh, the Giants just, I don't know what it is with them. I don't want to give this this phony story about every other year, but it does seem to be working out that way, and uh I felt that they, after the second game, when they did get the split in St. Louis, and they were a very small favorite, uh, the fact is they got three home games. I, I, I really didn't expect to win all three. The Baumgartner game is the one I had the most confidence in. And as it turns out, that was one of the more difficult ones to win, even though he pitched well. But uh, Wainwright dug right in there and went pitch for pitch and actually outpitched him by a small margin, but, uh, you know, in the end, uh, the guy comes off the bench, ties the game with a pinch hit home run, and uh, he'll, be, and he'll be the DH uh, starting uh, tomorrow and uh, in the American League City, the big guy uh, for the Giants. And uh, I didn't want to go back to St. Louis because, you know, once you get in the other guy's yard, uh, 